Welcome back to Real Life Reviews and in this video we've got a real treat for you. We're looking at the Physique Transero R1 Knit Tri Shoe. Yes, and just for a moment, just feast your eyes and I'm just going to show you the shoe. Physique's Knit Construction. Yep, a tri shoe with boas. And it is, we think, absolutely beautiful. The Physique Transero R1 Knit Tri Shoe. So why are we so excited about this shoe? Well, there's a number of reasons. One is its background. Partly it's come from the Physique R1 Knit. Uh, partly it's that knit bit. It's the knit technology and more about that in a moment and also partly how it's been developed. It's actually been developed in conjunction with Michelle Vesterby and also the BMC VFit Pro Tri Team. So it's had genuine top quality performers working on this with physique. But perhaps the most outstanding feature for most of us is the cost of this shoe. This shoe, recommended retail, and on Physique's website, is £359.99 pence sterling. That's £360. That is an awful lot of your hard-earned cash. Having said that, We've got a link in the description down below to Wiggle and on our website we've got other links to affiliates and at the moment on Wiggle you can get 22% off and that brings this down to £279. That's still a lot of money. So, yes, we're really excited to get hold of these and they do look, I think, stunning. So we're going to take a look at the shoe, we're then going to go away we're going to cycle with the shoe, but more importantly, we're going to put it through some real triathlon testing. And in particular, we're going to look at transitions, both static and dynamic. So sitting in transition on a, uh, a full iron or half iron distance, which more of us might do, along with flying starts um, in flying T1 and flying T2, feet out of the shoes and coming off the bike, which most of us are more likely to do in sprint and Olympic distance. So, let's look at the shoe. First up then, is the knitted upper. And if you get a nice close look at this, you'll see it is actually, it, it's soft, and it feels really good. And I'm looking forward to wearing this shoe on the bike. It, it's got all the hallmarks of being really, really comfortable. What are the benefits of this knitted upper? Well, from a try perspective, it's supposed to be really fast drying. So we will test it coming out of a pool and we'll do some brick sessions and we'll look at how fast drying it is. And part of this knit construction is about wicking away the moisture. It's also, along with that, extremely breathable, but it's also treated to give it some, some sort of if I say water repellent, that's not what Physique is saying, it, but it doesn't absorb water or the intention is to stop it absorbing water from outside as well. So it's going to be interesting to, to test these shoes there in, in conditions that are going to put that, put that sort of claim uh, to test. Um, what else about the knitted uh, function of this? Well, what Physique claim is that they now can machine the upper so that they can link the loops, they can pinpoint the loops in the fibres and they can change the direction of the yarn. Now what this does is it increases comfort in the right areas, so the yarn is lying in the right place or in the right direction in the correct areas of your foot and in turn this then maximises performance. So. I'm really looking forward to trying that aspect of these shoes. The next aspect that you notice on the top of these shoes is it's a double boa system. 
and that's going to possibly raise a few question marks in a number of your minds and if you're like me you're used to a big flap over velcro that you can whack open easy access foot in for a flying mount foot out for a flying dismount well all i can say at the moment and we are definitely going to test this is that the bowers do unclip pretty easily they're, they're normal bowers but they appear to be able to open up really quite nicely and quite wide so again we'll make sure we test that really well but at the moment out of the box these shoes look like they will perform well in transition and they've also got as you would you would hope and you would expect they've got a rear loop to help you with pulling on but also elastic banding your shoe to your mech or wherever you're fixing your shoe on the bike so from an upper perspective it appears to have everything we need for triathlon what else do physique claim that you get for your money in this supreme shoe well linked to all this top work is we have what and you probably can't see it very well because it's it's black on black on there but we have physique's dynamic arch support and the intention here is that you get a customized fit of your plantar arch um, that alongside with the boa construction again what physique call their advanced volume control in the forefoot i've tried these on in socks indoors so far and what i can say is that the front boa has a really quite phenomenal effect at how it then grips your foot I keep saying this, I'm really looking forward to getting on the bike with this shoe on and just playing with the dials and, and literally dialing in and using this shoe because it is supremely comfortable at the moment. Turning the shoe over, we have Physique's full UD, the R1 full UD carbon outsole. It is seriously stiff. It is very light and as Physique say, it is tuned for maximum power transfer. Not only that, we have, it's a triathlon shoe, we're bound to at some point be running or walking in these shoes. We have a replacement heel skid plate. So if that wears down, we just get hold of another one. What more can I tell you about this beautiful shoe before we get into the full process of testing it? Well. It's light. They come out at 503 grams for a size 42, which is what I'm holding here, a size 42. They have a stack height of 9.7 millimeters. So it, pretty average, uh, nothing strange about that. And they come in a good range of sizes. They come in sizes 37 to 48 and pretty much full half sizes. The only half size in there they don't have for some reason is 37 and a half presumably if you have big feet you suddenly jump a full size you, you're not allowed a half size at 37 and a half but other than that an absolutely full range so without any more ado i'm going to disappear off and spend a couple of weeks or so really testing these shoes here we are then test over well not really over because they're going to continue to be tested probably for the next couple of years. But wow, what a beautiful pair of shoes. Physique's knit technology is exactly what it claims to be. It is super, super comfortable. And by that, I mean with and without socks on. It's really hard to describe. I found these shoes incredibly comfortable. I found the ability to adjust with the boa and you press it in and tighten up and get the pull and get the feel on the arch and the close on the foot just where I wanted it. I just found that fantastic. And on the fly, I could adjust it. And if I felt my feet were 
swelling and getting a bit tight, it was as easy as anything to just pop the boa, just wiggle my foot around, open it up a bit, and then just tighten slightly. So, yeah, great adjustment. Something that the best of the Velcro shoes just don't quite give you. You can undo them and do them up on the fly, but it's not the same. This was super, super, super comfortable. Transition. It took me, I've got to be honest, it took me a few goes to get used to how, how far I wanted to having unclipped them to open the shoe to get it and they're still a little bit a little bit stiff but after three or four with your foot on top you tend to push it closed a bit anyway and then actually taking the foot off getting it in just little wiggle and foot in I got used to it and it's really picky it's probably not as easy as if you had something like a Shimano TR9, which has a little catch in its big bit of Velcro and holds it open a bit more. But it's, it's infinitesimally small difference. And I have no problem flying mount, flying dismount, dismount, no problem whatsoever. But flying mount, flying dismount, this shoe, excellent. I really, I, I got used to it. And I didn't need, perhaps it's me, I didn't need quite so much talcum powder that I often I put in my shoes. And I've got to say, it's wicking was as good as any other shoe I've tried, potentially better. So, yep, it, it's ticking the boxes on what it claims. Sizing for this shoe, well, Physique, I think, have got it spot on. If you're normally a 42, order a 42. Uh, the closest I can put this to is Shimano. I'm a 42 with Shimano, and this is a 42, and it's absolutely perfect for me. So, in summary, this is an extremely expensive shoe. It is also incredibly comfortable, it's tri-designed, it works incredibly well, fantastic power transfer, relatively light, brilliantly well made, and very, very stylish. Is this the best triathlon shoe I've worn? I think it is, but just a bit of me is being subjective there because it does look so good and I know how expensive it is. So that's kind of with me. I'm beginning to love the BOA system. And the more I like the BOA system, the more this is definitely going to become my favorite shoe. Would I recommend it? Yeah, I think I would. But believe me, you've really got to be prepared to want to spend that money. And this channel isn't about making sales of some of a shoe that a company's put over for me to promote. I would, I lean down, this has been my go-to shoe from, for a number of years. This is the Shimano TR9. Now, at the moment, uh, wiggle, 279 pounds, wiggle, 154 pounds. That's still an expensive shoe. Is there almost double and, and remember this is a 360 pound shoe really is there double the difference well no but it's like buying a high-end stereo system or tv or something like that the gains you get well carbon for your bike and, and weight the gains you get at the top end it's not linear by by any stretch of the imagination so this is a brilliant shoe and i can seriously recommend it at the same time, I would still recommend the TR9, the Shimano. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. If you are considering buying this shoe, and it is a very, very good shoe, well, as I mentioned before, we have a link in the description down below to Wiggle. And everything you spend at Wiggle, and you can get some great deals through this link, the channel just gets a tiny amount 
you spend no more and it helps keep the channel going. So a link to Wiggle in the description down below. You can also get this shoe from a number of our other affiliates and there's a link to our website just down there where you can click through and buy the shoe or look at the shoe from them. If you haven't yet subscribed, well, click on the round picture down there. And if you want to have a look at that video on the TR9 Shimano's tri shoe, that's up there. And we've also got their RP9, the road version of the same shoe, which is just up there. Many thanks for watching.